Hey, J.R. Ryder here. Welcome to Music Notes, June 2007 edition. And I want to talk to you today about a principle that's not necessarily dealing with music, but it's something that we find in music often. Have you ever uh, listened to a specific song or over the years heard a song that you heard the lyrics and they just hit you in such a way that um, it reminded you of a principle of life? I mean, for instance, the song, Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places, that song has caused many people over the years to really think about the places that they go to find love. Well, there is a song uh, that's out recently. Uh, it's by a rapper by the name of Ludacris, and it's called Get Back. And the lyrics to the song basically say, you're talking all this stuff, you know, why are you in my ear talking all this stuff I don't want to hear? Uh, you don't know me like that. And I thought about that. You know, and as I thought about what he's saying, I thought, you know, we're like that pretty much in everything in life. You know, we're not going to let somebody just walk up in our house and take control of our house or somebody we don't know. We're not going to let them talk to our family any old way or, you know, we're just not going to let them uh, come in and, and have free reign in our house if they don't know us. Why would we expect God to be any different in the way he treats us? For instance, some of us never really get to know God. We don't really talk to him until, of course, there's a crisis. And, you know, the Bible says in Matthew 7, that Jesus said, many will come to me on that day. And they're going to say, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. We did all these works in your name. We did all these things for you. And the Lord's going to look at them and say, you know what? Away from me, I never knew you. Now that would be one sobering day. To live your life, what you thought was living for God, to find out that you don't even know him. And so... Just like we wouldn't just let anybody in a house that we don't know, why would we expect God to let us in his house if we don't know him? So as you're listening to your music selection, listen to music that's going to uplift, that's going to promote um, treating your neighbor as yourself, and, and things that are moral principles that you know that God promotes. And as we do that, let's take time to get to know God ourselves. There's actually music out there that'll help you uh, usher in the presence of God and, and begin to develop a relationship with Him. Praying, talking, reading the Bible, and basically just uh, treating your neighbor as yourself. Those are principles of God. And if we would challenge ourselves to do that every day, I think we would find ourselves much more satisfied in this life, and more importantly, we can meet God one day in the life to come. If you would like more information on how to know God, Email me at jrwriter.ori.net. That's J-R-R-Y-D-E-R -R -E at O-R-I.net. And I'll send you some free information on how you too can know God. And as we know God, as we grow with Him, we too will be able to sing that song, I worship you just because of who you are. Have a great month. Until next month, this is J.R. Ryder.